Hey, this is Matt Reynolds of Reynolds Strong, and I'm here at Tactical Response in Camden, Tennessee with the James Jager. The. The. <laughs> it's a soft D. Yeah. So, hey, man, thanks for having me out. And uh, we just finished a Fight Strong seminar. and Another was, one. Yeah, another one. This has been our uh, fourth one, I think, that we've done. So, right? We did uh, we did the test one with your staff first, mm -hmm, and we've yeah. done three official ones since then. So, uh, I just want to talk to you for a few minutes and talk about kind of your process and how we kind of got to know each other. And then, and then really why you have me come out, why you think it's important to, to add this piece to your to kind of your weaponry, right? So, you've got all these guys that are focused on... Uh, being harder to kill, and and what does the physical aspect have to do with that? Right. You, where do you want to start? Like me going that. Yeah. First so class I mean, or? I guess the the first part is you know you were you were so knowledgeable in this world, but you didn't you you noticed that you had a a real kind of you know your weakness in your in your armor was this this part of this strength. Right. And so you'd started to go through this process. You were a big guy. You'd lost a bunch of weight, and we're doing cardio. And I think you thought to yourself like, okay, now how do I actually make myself harder to kill? So kind of walk us through that. Well, um, so. You know, it's it's the piece. You know, like I need to learn this other thing, and the reason I started out doing like a CrossFitty type thing was I thought I had a reduced chance of injury there. Sure. Well, turns out probably, not so much. Not so yeah. much. But I, luckily, I didn't hurt myself. But what I did know from from doing training for for years and years and years, what I did learn is that I saw so many people that bought a gun that thought because they were whatever a man they already knew how to shoot that yep. were a danger to themselves. What I've learned is that if I start any new thing, I'm going to go find some pro to teach me how to do it. Sure. And then that's how we, you know, that's how I signed up for the first class. And and I, you know, I looked online and, and I saw a tagline from uh, Mark Ripito and uh, strong people are harder to kill, generally more useful. Yeah. And I and that that struck a chord with me, so sure. I started studying. And there was so much turmoil about his techniques and him as a person and stuff, uh, just like. There was there is about me sure. on the net, and I thought, man, if there's this much spark and smoke and fire and flash, there's got to be something over there. Right, and that's that's you know how I began the journey. Good, yes, yeah, perfect. So so then you went to a starting strength seminar. So I work with starting strength, and starting strength is a best selling fitness book on Amazon, and it's really based around basic barbell training and getting strong. It's not CrossFit, it's not cardio, it's right. not, but it's how to get strong. Um, and you went to that seminar. I know, and that's where we first met. I was staff there. Um, and I think one of the things that you struggled with at the seminar was that it was a seminar that was four coaches, right? You were a beginner, so four coaches, very in-depth content, lots of physics, lots of kinesiology, biomechanics. And so that's when we kind of started talking about, hey, there needs to be something for people like me who are just in regular life, but also kind of in the tactical world that says, here's how I get started, here's how I get strong. And so why don't you talk a little bit about how do we get, how do we start to formulate Fight Strong and where that came from? Well. And you know when I and what I told what I told them was that it was a great class. Like starting strength is a, a wonderful class. Like they're, they're like taking nothing away from it. But I was in over my motherfucking head, <laughs> like start to back. And and what I said was Matt. I said uh, I said there needs to be a class for somebody that that's like me that doesn't know anything about barbell training that doesn't want to be a coach that I don't need to know a, about soccer mirrors. Yeah, I, sure. I don't care. <laughs> right, sure. I, about those and <laughs> and uh, there needs to be something for uh, for somebody like me and that's that's how we began this thing is you know I, I just a user course kind of like fighting pistol yep. it's about how to use your pistol we just needed something not an instructor course but just how to use the damn thing and not get hurt yeah sure and, and get better yeah so so we started to formulate fight strong and we started to put that together and, and I did a test run with that with your staff they seemed to love it we mm -hmm. did a great job there and then have come back now three times this year we just finished up our third one for this year and so fight strong is really a, a seminar based around how to get strong uh, we take everything that we know and we pare it down to make it as simple as we can but I try to tell people it's still hard it's simple, hard, effective, right? So it's not mm -hmm. going to be easy, but it's not going to be complicated either. And so we teach you how to do the basic barbell movements. We teach the squat, the deadlift, the bench press, and the press. We teach how to program those things. We teach how to do conditioning. And we hate, condi like, who wants to, I don't want to go out and run three miles. And nobody wants to do that. And, and mm -hmm. in reality, what are the chances that we're going to have to deal with something where we're going to have to actually run three miles? It's probably pretty low. But am I going to need to be able to run really, really fast for short periods of time if the zombie apocalypse breaks right. out? Absolutely. Right. And, and, and maybe under a load, like carrying something. Absolutely. Or so pulling. you've got packs, you've got bags, you've got what? So so we've got to be able to be strong enough to do that. And we need to be able to do high intensity conditioning. So we break that down, make it simple. And then the last piece is we add nutrition. So when people leave after this two-day seminar, they come away with, here's what I'm going to do Monday. I know what I'm going to go in the gym and I'm going to do these lifts. 
I'm gonna do this conditioning and here's how I'm gonna eat. And they walk away and they've got this complete picture. It's very simple, it's not complicated, but they walk away with the confidence to know, I know how to do it right, not just on paper, mm -hmm. but now I also know how to do it right actually practically because we've actually gone through this stuff in the gym. I know how to do the lifts. Mm -hmm. I know how to do the conditioning and, and our feedback has been awesome. So, so the, really the big thing here, I wanna push both to my audience and to your audience is, if you're looking at trying to figure out how to do this stuff and how to get started, you really have one of two options. So option one is to sign up for a Fight Strong course. We'd love to have you out here and do Fight Strong. Uh, we do it on average about three times a year out here at Tactical Response. I also have done it a couple other times privately and for, for bigger groups. And then um, and then the other thing that I do, and just to, to do a quick kind of sales pitch more than anything else, is that I do online coaching. So this is my primary job now. So for somebody who says, hey, I don't want to wait another three months or four months before the next Fight Strong, I'd like to get started today. They can actually, you guys can contact me. I'm Reynolds Strong online. I'm ReynoldsStrong.com, Reynolds Strong at Gmail, Reynolds Strong on all the social media. And we can walk through what online coaching looks like. Well, and so, you know, what I said was, Matt, like people, like they can't buy my DVD and learn how to shoot. But what we both realize is that if you're in Ashkrakistan or you're somewhere, yeah. you can't get away, you, you know, it's, you know, you, there's these other barriers that an online coach is better than no coach. So every, everybody agrees in-person coaching is better. superior. Sure. Everybody gets that. But it's, if it's, if it's all or nothing, at least in the middle is online coaching. And at least you can have somebody watching your form and stuff like that. And, uh, and, and he has had so much success with it. And I don't mean business success. I mean like getting people stronger. He's had so much success with it. I've actually thought about how could I apply that to the shooting community your world. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, you know, part of the deal is this, this online coaching world right now in the internet is really almost, um, I mean, it's, it's just, there's tons of it out there, right? It's just, and so what I want to do is how do we separate ourselves as, as given the best possible service for online coaching? So a typical online coach, which should probably be called an online programmer and not a coach, is somebody that's just going to print you out a cookie cutter workout plan. That's not what we do. So we, we take a pretty long questionnaire, ask you all the questions that we need to know about you, what your background is, what your injuries are, what your goals are, all that sort of stuff. And then we start to formulate a program specifically for you uh, it all comes to your phone on an app, which is pretty cool. And then you video yourself with your phone. We show you how to do that and send me those videos via YouTube. And then I can break those videos down for you. We also do nutrition and all that sort of stuff. So we really kind of take all of that complicatedness and, and just tell you what to do and walk through it. And it's all specific for the person, which is really nice. So mm -hmm. great way to get started. And then again, I can't, I can't stress enough. If you can get to fight strong or even find a starting strength coach, it doesn't have to be me to get in-person coaching. I have a lot of my online clients have done that. They do online online coaching throughout the year and then three times a year or so they hire me or another coach to just get in with them hands-on for an hour or two hours and get hands-on instruction on the squat and deadlift and things like that and just uh and, and me and matt have both said who 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 uh, should take this or that but if you are a strength coach you should take the starting strength program oh, absolutely. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, a, it's, a, it's the best seminar out there i mean from a content perspective if you take the starting strength seminar, even if you don't pass the certification, and it's hard, I mean, very like under 5% pass rate to pass, you'll still know more just by going than 99.9% .9 of all the coaches on earth. So you can look on startingstrength.com to find out when the when the uh, starting strength seminars are, uh, my website, reynoldstrong.com, and tacticalresponse.com to figure out when we're doing uh, the next Fight Strongs. And man, we hope to see you here soon. And, and give us a shout. If you ever need anything, man, I, I love answering questions. Shoot me an email, contact me on the website, and, and ask me questions. And and we'll, we'll hit it hard. So uh, from Tactical Response in Camden, Tennessee, this is Matt Reynolds. Remember, training's got to be simple, hard, effective, and it will make you stronger and harder to kill. <laughs> I like it.